Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to uh, Dragon Quest Seven. Let's go ahead and open up the final pedestal. And that is going to be this one. Put it down, and off we go. This is, of course, not the end game. We are still on disc one. Remember that. We are still on disc one. Uh, cross over here. I wonder if there's anything interesting over here. Nope, nothing interesting over here. We got some woody eyes. One interesting thing is that it clearly has uh, calculated the damage before displaying, um, because it knows that with each of those attacks, that kills those enemies, and it won't hit them again. Uh, pair of snails. Monsters were defeated. 219 points of XP and 90 gold. So, like, you never have to worry about quad hits or sword dance or anything like that. Um, like, focusing on enemies that uh, would have already be dead kind of thing. Like, um... It'll never attack something three times when it has three hit points left, unless you're only doing one point of damage each. What do we have through here? Oh. Wow, that is... How is that... How does that work? This is an interesting place. Hello. This is Coastal, the port kingdom that floats on the sea. With all these monsters, we can't set foot outside of town. It is like a prison. I don't know where you came from, but it would be best for you to leave quickly. This might be a door that cannot be opened from this side. Hmm. Ald read the sign. Those with castle business, please enter via the northern entrance. Where does this go? Our forces are powerless. We shouldn't have depended on Shark Eye for everything, even if he was the world's greatest pirate. A soldier who fails to train himself is no soldier at all. Yeah, maybe he shouldn't have defend depended on a pirate. I got a new sister two days ago. Pretty neat, huh? But Mom and Dad locked her up in a room and won't let me see her. Then they told me to hide in the temple. What's going on anyway? That's worrying. A child was born to the armorer two days ago. I pray for its safety. Sadly, though, there is a full moon tonight. It's very suspicious. It must have something to do with the Demon Lord C. C? Seal? I don't know. I don't know what's all, what it's all about, but that story kind of gave me the creeps. I wonder what in the world is going on with the armorer. I've got to find out. Let's go check it out later. The armorer's wife is young, but she sure works hard. And her husband's such a nice man. Oh, who would, who would want to hurt them? I'm afraid you've walked into a very dire situation, my child. Now let's go ahead and oracle. Uh, 5146 for all the 2169 for Melvin. Nice. 24955 for Gabo. 762 for Ira. Very soon, she'll be gaining a level. Probably once we get into whatever the first dungeon is that we actually have. Although possibly uh, on the way to it. So I think the reason why they uh, 
I mean, I don't know why they let you smash those in this game, but I think the reason why those never show up as things you could smash in later games is because there's never anything in them. Nothing useful there. Nothing useful there. Can this really be happening? Yes? I apologize. My wife's still tormented by the memory of the son we lost two years ago. No. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't mean to talk to you a third time. Oh, Jacob, come back to me, my child. Is that a monster over there? Wait for me, please. That woman had a blank look and was saying weird things. Was she half asleep, maybe? Oh, what a sorrowful sight to behold. I guess their baby died. Oh, how sad. Is God trying to test us? Yeah. Probably. I've never seen such cruelty. Well, as I say, you gotta be cruel to be kind. In the right measure, though. The smell of the salt water is so strong here, my nose won't work right. Ah, uh, salt water and waves, even sealed off, the sea is still the sea. This town appears to be a port town. All right, what do we have back here? Thank you. <laughs> Writhe in pain. That's what my master loves to see. <laughs> what? Well, that's uh, a little bit of a worry. Also, there's a treasure chest over there. Can we just, like, jump over there? Might as well jump. And yet I can't. Alright, let's go this way. The door is locked. The door is locked. The door is locked. A lot of locked doors here. There we go. Alright, we'll check the stairs uh, in a bit. No one is here. What about uh, downstairs? Do you know about the Marl de Dragon? Uh, nope. They're a band of pirates, mariners of the highest caliber, led by Captain Sharkeye. They have pre prevailed throughout countless adventures on the high seas. After a while, the king contracted Sharkeye to lead Coastal's navy. That way we could finally sail again with, without fear of the sea monsters. As it turned out, our actions only encouraged the monster's leader to target our kingdom. Hmm, I thought pirates just went around attacking weaker ships. I guess there are some nice pirates in the world, too. Wow, that shark eye was really great. Marl de Dragon? I've heard that name before, long ago. I seem to remember something about a pirate putting all the sea monsters of a certain kingdom to rout. Was that Melvin? That might have been Melvin. That drink it is good for you. It can cheer you up, at least for a bit. Just make sure you don't let the drink drink you. All right, so I can't get behind the counter to those barrels. If you want to stay at the inn, go to the temple. The innkeeper's probably praying there. It's so sad. I loved Captain Sharkeye. After the Demon Lord cast this land into darkness, the captain bravely rebelled, cursed for his mutiny. He and his crew were sealed eternally in ice and left afloat in the sea forever. Hmm. I guess that not even the famous Marl de Dragon could do anything when faced with the immense power of the Demon Lord. The Demon Lord again. Such a humiliating defeat does not befit such a great hero. Eternal Ice, huh? It sounds like you'd catch cold in there for sure. Mm -hmm. 
I've traveled around the world performing my dance. I'm nothing compared to the Dacians, though. They make even the most skilled look look, look clumsy. Uh, I wish I was half as good as the legendary Beretta. Beretta is the name of a dancer a generation before the legendary Layla. Maybe Layla hasn't been born yet in this time period. Uh, salt water and waves. All right, you're saying the uh, same thing. Travelers, how'd you get here? We can't even go out to sea anymore. Yeah, I've been trapped in this kingdom for many years. I came here to see the motherland of the Marl de Dragon, the greatest pirates in history. Yeah, that was uh, Melvin. Whoops. What? You found the pirate shirt. Melvin obtained the pirate shirt. Nothing useful. Alright, let's see. Death Seed, that can go into the bag. Uh, bunny ears. Wow, you're equipped with the bunny ears. That's still the best helmet for you, huh? Okay. Okay, that is uh, not a good piece of armor. Alright, put that into the bag. The door is locked. Didn't actually mean to uh, come in here, but whatever. Beyond here lies the castle lighthouse, but nobody is allowed to enter. It was closed down when we couldn't get the pilot fire from the northern lighthouse. Alright, well, let's see what's out here. Not a whole lot. What about down here? Oh dear, you're not from this kingdom, am I right? Uh, yeah, you're... you're right. In that case, let me tell you something. The great Captain Shark Eye was the king's best friend, and a fine man as well. He used his own ship to divert the Demon Lord's monsters and save this town. If it wasn't for him, our kingdom would have been finished. Losing the hero Shark Eye has been a heavy blow for the people of this country. Wow, that Shark Eye was really astounding. Impressive indeed. I wish I could have met this Master Shark Eye. down there. Oh, I've never seen you before. You braved the dark seas to get here? This is Coastal Castle. It's been years since we've had travelers. I'm sure your kingdom has been suffering just as much as ours. The end of the world is surely near. The people of this country are in despair. I want to do something to help them. They're in grave danger if their soldiers are that cowardly. I suggest that we meet with this country's king and ask him about the seal. Hmm, I just thought of something. There might be a way to make it through the darkness in the lighthouse, but I doubt we'll find anyone brave enough to venture inside. Well, conveniently for you, I'll check the bookshelf. The, book the shelf is lined with dozens of thick volumes. I'll check the bookshelf. The shelf is lined with dozens of thick volumes. Let us see what is down here. How does this work? Is this glass? Boo! Stupid one-way doors. Fine, we'll go back this way. Above here are the king's sleeping quarters and the luxury guest room. The sick are resting inside, so please do not enter. <sighs> Dang it. Excuse me, but I'm in the middle of an important conversation. If you have business with me, please come back in a few moments. The king is having a serious discussion with the minister. Oh. Alright, so we need to, um, we 
need to find something to advance time a little bit. Let us see. Um, Okay, we do need to get a room at the inn. Okay, you are not, uh... I don't know if you were the innkeeper. Maybe it's uh, this woman here. Hmm, looking for the innkeeper? That would be me. You want to stay here? I know I shouldn't say this, but it'd be best if you didn't. If you had the king's permission, though, I suppose I'd let you in. Okay, I guess I'll go get the uh, king's permission. Should be easier if that door were open. Wouldn't have to deal with slowdown in this town. <laughs> You wish to stay in the inn? Yes, I do. This land is cursed by monsters. We can't have you staying here and suffering disaster. Now, just a moment, Minister. They have braved the Black Seas to get here. I'm sure they are far more than mere travelers. Especially in times like these, we should be welcoming them with open arms. But, Great King, it's a full moon tonight. If they catch sight of those things, it will deface the name of our great kingdom. <laughs> now we have nothing to fear. This might be the beginning of the end for our woes. Fair travelers, I'd love to hear what you have to say, but it is late. Please stay at the inn and rest your tired bodies. Okay. <sighs> I'm tired already, all. Let's rest. That king is a really sensible man. I hope we can help him. A full moon disaster? What exactly happens, do you suppose? I have a decidedly bad feeling about all of this. Oh, I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, you again. You'd best not spend much longer here. What, you want to stay overnight here? The king gave you permission? At this time of night, you must be more significant than you appear. Oh, well, there's no charge. Go ahead and use the beds on the second floor. Don't go outside tonight, though. It's too dangerous. Take a rest. Yep. Yeah. Oh boy, I must be hungrier than I thought. Ald woke to the sound of an eerie scream. Shh, the monsters will hear you. No, oh, no, did you hear that scream? It stirred me from my sleep. I'm afraid to even set foot outside of the confines of this town. Dear God, the poor armor. I can't imagine how difficult it must be for him. I couldn't sleep, so I was availing myself of this fine ale. That horrible screech sobered me up instantly. Too bad. I can't believe he can sleep at a time like this. That or he's just passed out. I think he's just passed out. I think that's all it is. The door is locked. Well, that door isn't. Oh, my baby, I'm your mother. Sierra, are you okay? It's just as I said, the child doesn't even know who we are. Yes, but this is our baby. We can't give up. Yeah. No, why are you doing this? Okay, well that seems really bad. Oh my good travelers, my apologies for startling you. As a traveler, I'm sure you have done battle with many monsters. I, uh, I'd understand if you developed a cautious animosity towards such creatures, but the monster roaming outside is actually Sierra's daughter. 
don't think badly of her. Well, that is a big change that uh, that child has undergone. Some kids are going to do that, though. I'm supposed to be a soldier, yet there is nothing I can do to help. If this keeps up, this town will never have another child again. Cheer up, Sierra. We still have a wonderful young boy. Why did this happen to, why did this happen to us? Excellent. I can go inside. Not that we can do anything here. I wonder if I could have gotten in before. Uh, I didn't... I don't think I realized that there was a back door. You do have a son? Also? That's gonna make the armor really, really rusty, I would think. Well, let's see if we can find out more information. Is locked. That door is locked. Hey, there we go. What? You found the tiny metal. All to obtain the tiny metal. I missed that earlier. Can you tell us what's going on? Oh, all, you witnessed the tragedy of our land. Ever since our kingdom was sealed off in darkness five years ago, every newborn child has been cursed. On the first full moon after birth, the ch children turn into horrible monsters. They forget their own parents' faces and wander off into the darkness. It seems hard to believe, doesn't it? Yeah, we, we've seen things like that before. At this rate, our people will be overcome with despair. We must do something. They're not overcome with despair already? I wonder where the monsters run off to. Where do they disappear to? That's terrible, going after little newborns like that. That cursed demon lord. Just let me at him. And I'll leave it. Leave licking it. And he'll leave licking his wounds. I wondered why the moon would be seen in a world that was sealed off. But now I understand that the full moon was necessary to complete the curse. We're beginning to see what the minister, minister meant when he talked about disaster in the full moon. I finally understand why this country is all pitch dark. So that is the Demon Lord's curse on this country. We shall not let him get away with it. Our king promised Shark Eye we'd look after Anise. She's sick and resting, so please be as quiet as you can. All right. Nothing useful. What? You found the captain hat! I'll obtain the captain hat! That looks suspiciously like a uh, top hat. I'll look into the mirror. There's a pimple on forehead. Not a pimple on his forehead. Just pimple on forehead. Alright, captain's hat. That actually would be better for Melvin. Potted plants. You can die. Ald quietly looked at the sleeping Anise. She is a beautiful young woman. Sadly, her beauty hides a torment she must feel inside. Shark Eye, is that you? Shark Eye? Oh no, Anise! No, no, Anise, you must rest or you will never get better. Oh, I'm sorry, I was dreaming. Please, Anise, go back to your bed. I'm sorry, dear guests. Anise is recovering from an illness. She occasionally breaks out in a fever like this. Please try to rest as quietly as possible.
Okay, we have no idea what's going on with that. The king rarely speaks about his own worries. He's already lost his wife to the monsters. It would kill him to see the same thing happen to his best friend. Shark Eye left Anise under the care of the kingdom when he left. The king is having a bad dream. Yeah. It's understandable, understandable. I mean, he probably, you know, without any access to uh, their, their normal shipping lanes, probably not getting any ham in his diet. Oh, it's terrible, terrible. I'd be having nightmares too. When I look out at the dark sea, memories of the happy days of long ago fill my mind. I've been the Coastal Kingdom's bard for some time now. There are so many memories. None are so dear to me, however, as those of voyaging with the great Marl de Dragon. Even now, the crashing of the waves reminds me of those exhilarating times. It's a catamaran? With a castle on it? Captain Shark Eye! Well, that is some hair. <laughs> Captain Shark Eye! What is it, Cadell? Are we ready to cast off? No, it's not that, sir. Passenger has boarded, sir. Seems they heard the, from someone the news that our ship was dropping anchor in this port. Captain Shark Eye, are you listening, sir? Yes, I'm listening. Cadell. So, the King's Emissary has arrived at last. Hmm. Well, it may be that the time has come for our clan to aspire to a greater goal. To be sure, we all like causing havoc on the high seas. But when our leader, Captain Shark Eye, makes up his mind, we follow him anywhere he goes. <laughs> well spoken. Let's go meet our guest, then. Prepare to set sail, Cadell. Whoa! Jeez, he just shatters his legs there. They have cannons. Why, you're from the country of Coastal. We are pleased to have you aboard our humble craft. I don't know that this counts as a humble craft. I'm sorry. This is this is a little bit more than humble. I have to say, though, that the tastes of the king of Coastal are as curious as ever. Do you think that he would send a minister all this, all this way to meet with us? It should come as no surprise, given that the king views you, you with the highest regard, Captain Shark Eye. Besides, the king is confident that I will return with the answer that he seeks. Many have made sweet-sounding promises in ho the hopes to join in forces with the pirates of the Marl de Dragon. But I do believe that good things may come from entering into a contract with the king in of your country. Do you understand why that is, minister? Wait a second, I don't understand what you mean. Because he sent you as a gift to appease me. We could always use an extra hand on board. It looks like you'll be spending the rest of your living days slaving away in my galley. Cadell, gouge out his eyes to dissuade any attempt at escape. Ha 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 ha! Captain Shark Eye, we are ready to cast off, sir. Shall we still set sail for the port of Ragaraz? Lighten up, Minister. I'm only messing with you. Shake off your barnacles, mateys. It looks like we're heading northwest to coastal. Aye, aye, sir. At once, sir. Minister, why are you just standing there as if rooted in to the spot? All of the preparations for our voyage are in order. Now, please, go to your cabin and rest and relax. C Captain Shark, I am grateful to you. Well, we're clearly going to be exploring this at some point. Change your destination, due northwest! Way anchor, heave ho! They even have trees on board. That's a nice melody. It puts the soul at ease. Why, if it isn't Anise, did I wake you? My sincere apologies. Oh no, I was troubled because I could not get to sleep. But thanks to you, I am relaxed, and I should be able to fall asleep now. 
Very good, then. We are only a few days' journey from the la landing at Coastal. They will probably give us a grand reception when we arrive, so we will need to rest now while we can. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about. I am the wife of Captain Shark Eye, after all. Oh, I thought that was his daughter. It is a curious thing, Anise. They say that you were once a princess in your country. Who would have imagined that one so highborn as you would take to living the storm-tossed life of a pirate? For what reason could you have abandoned even your kingdom to follow our Captain Shark Eye? Anise, there you are. What are you doing here at this hour of the night? Oh, darling, I'm sorry to have... To, I gave you cause to worry about me. I'll be right back. I swear, sometimes you scare me to death. Anyway, I'm going back to our quarters now. The thing that makes me love my husband is surely the same thing which has ensnared him, uh, endeared him to the King of Coastal. It isn't for the sake of his own glory or greed that Shark Eye battles monsters to defend the seas. He only seeks to fight the good fight and die an honorable death on the seas. I would follow my husband to the ends of this flat earth. <laughs> well, see, but you can't do that because you don't have a hubcap on your torso. Shark Eye has led our navy for over two years. The great Marl de Dragon have served our kingdom well, just as you had predicted. But no matter how many monsters he kills, they'll come again tenfold. Mm, yes, we've been targeted by the forces of darkness. Considering how much trouble we've caused them, it's no surprise. Tomorrow, Shark Eye plans to attract the monsters' attention and lead them far out to sea. Once there, he will dive into battle against them. It's too dangerous. The Demon Lord does not take kindly to interlopers. Think about a niece and her unborn child. I know, but once Shark Eye makes a decision, it's impossible to shake him. Besides, with luck, he may save our kingdom, if not the world. Wise King, you understand completely. Oh, it was Shark Eye. Wise King, you understand completely. Oh, Shark Eye, I didn't realize you were here. How has your wife Anise been lately? Sorry to worry you last night. We should be able to set sail now. Shark Eye, I'm saying this as a friend. You shouldn't set sail tomorrow. We have no idea how powerful the Demon Lord is. If you were to get hurt tomorrow. If we don't do something, it's only a matter of time before we're lost to the darkness. I haven't given up. There is no such thing as an invincible enemy. Except there are some in this game. Don't worry, I won't go down without a fight. I see. I wish I could stop you, but I must also commend you for your bravery. Yes, the people of Coastal are blessed by their great king. By the way, I'm holding a celebration on board tonight with Anise. I'd be honored if you'd come. Hey, bring more booze! More booze, I say! Even the castle musicians are here with their exquisite notes dancing about the room. It's been so long since I've been able to cast my worries aside and just dance. Not since my wife. Hey, Shark Eye, I have only one condition regarding your departure tomorrow. I want you to leave your wife and niece at Coastal Castle. Promise me this, and I will ask nothing more. I have been married to Anise for all these years, but this would be our first child. It's kind of funny when I think about it. I sail towards certain death while my better half rests at home, a new life growing inside her belly. God has provided man with the ability to shape the future in so many ways. Good friend, take good care of my wife and unborn child. Eh, it's just raining a little bit. Anise, are you in there? Our celebratory banquet won't stand this rain. Come on, there's a welcoming party from the castle awaiting you. Dear, when this child inside me is born, I will sail with you again. I could choose no other way to raise my child than amid the pounding waves. This child was a gift to us from the sea itself. I will return to you no matter what. Till the day this land sees peace once more, I am only left with my halcyon memories.
All right. Well, they're they're more like uh, CPF memories, but you know, I mean, I, I get it. I get it. All right. So bad stuff's been happening. Uh oh. We could go up the uh, lighthouse, but that's gonna have to wait until next time. See you then, everyone. <laughs>